tarmac, first at five tonight. The pandemic caused trauma for many, and for some, their worries revolve around having enough food to each, eat each day. And Chris Schuler visited a food pantry in Algoma dedicated to helping the hungry along the rural lakeshore. Inside the Kiwani County Food Pantry, it's distribution day. As boxes are packed up with food and handed out to people like Tracy Belgum. Hard times since COVID? Yeah. A little bit, yes. Yes. It really helps out when you can't make ends meet. Since the early 90s, his pantry has been in operation providing nutritious food to those in need. Ken Marquart has been its president since 2011. Well, our mission is to help families in need uh, fill in food for them when, when they're having hard times. 40% of the food that's distributed comes from the federal government, like these pallets of canned goods that just came in this morning. The remainder is donated by Walmart or supplied by Feeding America. Items like rice, beans, eggs, and fresh vegetables. It's good that we have this to fall back on because some people are hurting every day, you know, for food and, and some kind of thing. Kewarney County has a larger population of elderly people. And a lot of those people, they don't get a lot of Social Security money. So, and if that's what they have to live on, it, it's difficult sometimes. With 400 households registered with the pantry, the organization distributes up to 13,000 pounds of food each month. Supplies that supplement families dealing with a variety of issues, some connected to the pandemic. Some are embarrassed when they first come, but after they get to know us, they're not embarrassed anymore because we're here to help. People like Tracy Belgum, who says she'd be lost without the help she finds here. You do what you got to do, and and it's really appreciative that they that they are here. There are a lot of people that are very very grateful. In Algoma, Chris Schuler, Local Five News. The Kiwani County Food Pantry starts handing out boxes of food tomorrow morning at 10. 500 boxes total, filled with food from Wisconsin farms.